What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here, and I'm coming to you today with Supreme Brady List and today's officer, Nicole Colleen Pitts. Now, episode five, which is this one, I want to give you this because I constantly talk about how horrible the policing is in Georgia. In fact, this young lady was not only fired from one police department in Georgia, she was rehired at another police department in Georgia. Nicole Colleen Pitts was fired by Victor Hill. Pretty much remember him. You know, the cop that's in federal prison for torturing inmates in Georgia jails. On October 7, 2020, Nicole Colleen Pitts held a gun to the head of a handcuffed man. Let me reiterate that because most people will be like, oh, well, that's fine. She put a gun under the chin of a handcuffed man to threaten him. You know, because the professional standards that, yeah, that's a violation is also an aggravated assault. And it was labeled an aggravated assault. After she was rehired and she racially profiled a young man who was at a gas station who was the son of a police chief in Locust Grove, and that was done June 4th, 2021. Now, why am I giving you these dates? Because when I talk about the Brady List cops, that's the one thing we need to talk about because we need to talk about their past history. This is putting their character on trial because you have someone that will actually put a gun to a handcuffed person's head. You have somebody that will racially profile someone just because she's looking to get numbers. But now, I want you to also notice something. Like I said, Georgia Police Department training is six weeks. And the majority, I'm going to actually call it 90%, don't actually qualify to graduate to become a police officer. And the Department of Justice has actually said this is the worst policing department in the country. Nicole Colleen Pence was fired for committing an actual crime. I'm going to say that one more time. Nicole Colleen Pitts was fired for committing an aggravated assault against those she swore to protect. She was then rehired, then racially profiled a police chief's child. Nicole Colleen Pitts is why the spring Brady list is necessary, because they're going to keep putting bad officers on the street. They're going to make sure the bad officers keep working. They're going to make sure that these officers that are willfully violating our rights, going against their own oath, not holding up to their own words and commitments. This is why we need to fight back. Because again, I talked about the bad attorneys. Those are coming. They don't defend. Because, again, I always I, I harken back to this because I want you to go and actually listen to it. Because a lot of times when people say something, it, it lacks context. It lacks depth. The Tommy Sotomayor question, don't care how you feel about the man, the conversation was relevant. The conversation, the question he asked was relevant. Because whenever you sit down and you turn this thing around how it is, goodness, all these bugs over here anyway. You actually get the actual meaning of what's being said and what's being tra what's being transferred to you. Because understand, all of these things are necessary in order to weaponize your defense because knowing is half the battle. When you know these things are going to happen, when you know these egregious acts are going to continue to take place until you do something about it, this is how you do something about it. Because now... Remember, I told you one thing they don't like is specificity. I'm giving you dates so you can go to these specific incidents because there are specific reports. If not, they are specifically lying. And then you can hold the prosecutor liable for not making witnesses available, not turning over detailed discovery requested information. And then it becomes a malicious prosecution because in order, in order for us to correct the actual system to where it's supposed to be, not what they're telling us or showing us it is, we must learn to fight back. And if they're going to keep these bad cops cool, they're going to keep making 
us rich because they're going to be challenged. We're challenging them on their character, their aspects, their own rules. So let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Supreme, I'm out. And don't forget to support the podcast.